Hey everybody, welcome to this episode of A Taste of the Food Life. Thank you so much for joining me here on the show as I continue my food tasting journey. And today, once again, joining me is my fellow hothead, uh, spice head, I guess, uh, Susan oh, wait a Chisholm. Yeah, we are a hothead sometimes. Um, Susan, uh, you ready to take on some more uh, hot sauce spicy challenge kind of stuff? Heck yeah, let's bring it. In our journey to be school villains, we have encountered several different brands of hot sauces, one of which is Sinai Gourmet. Sinai Gourmet, uh, if you watched our run through the last season of Hot Ones Hot Sauces, mm -hmm. 10 Hot Sauces, introduced us to Sinai Gourmet uh, through their hot sauce called Tropicante. Tropicante is a, I would say, mild sauce. Yeah. And it has papaya, mango, pineapple, even banana amidst all of the other peppers and so forth that make it spicy. And it's, but it's delicious and flavors where it's at. Well, today we're here to try Sinai Gourmet's line of spicy honeys. They have two. They have a uh, Reaper honey and they also have a Habanero honey. And so, honey. yeah. That could be my nickname, I'm the Habanero honey. <laughs> Do you like, you, you like honey? I love honey. And um, we we actually like like sort of homegrown. We've had honey from like the Texas area, different mm -hmm. and you know different uh, places. And um, there's just something about honey fresh from the the hive and and so forth that is delicious. Well, I'm excited to try these two products because um, I have had the opportunity to try spicy honey, mm -hmm. and it's delicious. It is. There's just I like using uh, honey in. Uh, glaze for my chicken wings and things of that nature. So I'm excited. That would be great on chicken wings. <laughs> like Absolutely. To, to toss it like. Yeah. So let's try these two. Okay. And we'll see how it goes. We'll see. We're not going to do our normal taquitos. We that would be weird. are going to use yellow wafers. Yellow wafers. So there you go. And uh, I thought we'd start with the honey. Okay. And so I'm going to, if you would hold that for me for just a moment. We're gonna go ahead and see how this goes. Now, I love spicy honey. I learned recently spicy honey goes really well on pizza and other products. So, here we go. This is the habanero honey. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh my goodness. And I'll put some on mine. <laughs> it smells so good. You're a fan of honey, I imagine. I love honey. Yeah, honey's fantastic. Didn't you used to, did you used to raise bees or was that that was not me. That was not you? That okay. Not I don't know why. But that'd be something you'd probably want to do. Since <laughs> I, I do. We actually, also, you actually what? Me and my best friend have uh, talked about it. Actually, just this past week we talked about it. I mean, you it. forage mushrooms and so. Oh my God. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so this is habanero honey. Here we go. I got the habanero right away. Mm -hmm. The flavor. Mm -hmm. Not terribly spicy. No. I almost think that the vanilla wafer, I took too much of a bite. Hmm. You want to try another? Sure. And maybe we'll just take a less of a bite of the cookie and more of the honey. So you got to put it toward the edge. Right. Because it, you immediately get the habanero flavor, but I'm not getting the heat. And maybe that's not the point. I don't know. Let's see that. I'm going to get closer and see if you can see that. Are yep. they flecked with? No. That's okay. All right. Here we go. Let's try it again. Yeah. Again with the flavor. I mean, it's good. It's oh, tasty. you know where I get the heat? When I swallow it. It's the back of my throat. But it's not, it's not a spicy, spicy heat. It's not outrageous either. Mm -mm. It's, it's subtle, but it's really tasty. It's really tasty. And for it's something really that you would use honey for. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, okay. yeah. So like something like putting it on, you know, on pizza, why not? But like biscuits. Oh, yeah, definitely. <clears throat> All right. Oh, a biscuit with a, like a fried chicken. Ooh, oh, yeah. Heck yeah. I know what I'm getting for breakfast tomorrow. Next episode. <laughs> All right, let's do the um, Reaper honey. Now, have you had Reaper peppers before? Mm-hmm. Okay, have we? I think we have. 
Somewhere along the way, we've done so many. No, we've never so. done. The, the, the last dab was Reaper. Oh, that's right. That's right. All right, so this is the Reaper infused honey. Again, Sinai Gourmet, providing the, some original product here that we... That one is a little bit more free-hearted. Yes. <laughs> and it's darker. It is. I love specialty honeys. Oh man, it's that metallic flavor again. Mm-hmm. But I got the heat this time. That's hot. Quick. That was hot. Whoa. I think it does fade. <clears throat> I think I was lulled into a false sense of security. <laughs> the habanero. Yeah. Yeah, it does. It does fade once it's passed, but cookie. So. <laughs> Not bad. That was that was really good. Yeah. 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 The, the uh, Reaper has a little kick to it. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. <clears throat> yeah. But the habanero, I like it because it has uh, immediately. There's applications we think of. Yeah. You mentioned biscuit, chick, you know, chicken biscuits, and mm -hmm. um, I'm thinking it's going to go great on wings. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so exciting stuff from Sinai Gourmet. Uh, who we want to say thank you to. Uh, your products are amazing. We really amazing. do like them. Indeed. You're all amazing. Uh, we thank you for being here. Susan, thank you as always for taking the uh, road with me on Hot and Spicy. Hot and Spicy. And other episodes. So we'll look forward to having Susan on the show as we progress our new episodes happening here on A Taste of the Food Life. And I really, really appreciate that you're here to watch. Make sure you click subscribe here on YouTube and also that notification bell so you know when episodes land. And don't forget to like the episode because we like thumbs ups. More so, we like you. And we want you to always remember, you're awesome. You're amazing. And the world's a better place because you are in it. We'll see you next time on A Taste of the Food Life.